Hi, I'm Tate. And I'm Danny. This is our story. In 2015, we quit our jobs and embarked on a five year world adventure. We sailed from New Orleans to Panama, lived in exotic locations, swam with sharks, and ate a ton of fish. But we are just getting started. In 2016, we put our boat Sundowner on the hard and started a new adventure in our Class A RV. Join us as we explore North America. We have no hard plans and no idea where we'll end up. What a way to live. On the three campsites that night, it said that there were about 30 campsites between mile markers 42 and 47. So we're looking on the road, trying to find a place that will fit our RV that's not terribly shaded by the forest because that's the problem when you have solar power. But I think we're going to find one. There are tons of spots here. Tate is checking out this campsite. It's a little bit wet. Um, he's a little concerned about it. What do you think? Yeah, it's pretty soft. You want to keep going? Yeah. All right. Check out our incredible campsite. Good job scouting out this one, baby. Nice spot. Our campsite is just right off the National Forest Road 55. Tinkum Road is what it's called, between exits 42 and 47 off Interstate 90. We usually don't have all the windows open in the RV, but here at this campsite is really cool because the one side of the RV is just the forest. <laughs> There's nobody there, so we're able to open the windows and kind of have the outdoors indoors. It's really beautiful. The weather here is so nice. It's not hot and it's not cold. It's just nice and cool in the forest here in the Cascades. It's beautiful. We came here at such a good time. There's just like a slight breeze that blows the leaves around and makes a rustling sound. And we've got the babbling brook on the side of the RV with the constant noise of like a waterfall. It almost sounds like the reef back on the boat. There's always like a nice shh. This forest is quite insane. <laughs> There's gigantic slugs crawling around. If things couldn't get more magical. I don't think that's very magical. This is such a beautiful time to be in the Northwest area. All of the trees and plants and things have highlights on the end of their branches. What you been doing, Danny? Jogging. What's, this? what's in this bag? Why don't you, why don't you open it? I don't know what it is. What's in the bag, Danny? Oh <laughs> what? No, you can't share this on film. What's in the bag, Danny? It's some tobacco What is it? Take products. it out. Oh take God. it out. Just take a look. What do we have here? Holy smokes. <laughs> what yeah, is holy this? Holy smokes is right. Oh my God. I'm at the uh, motorsports place and it's been a long ride over here but we finally get to get the motorcycle tire changed. It's in a bad way. Very bald tire there. So I'm gonna bring her in and hopefully we can get it done. So you finally found a repair shop? Yeah, we finally have new tires. <laughs> I went ahead and did them both. The front and the back? Yeah. How much was it? It was $600. So we're going to drive to Seattle to see my friends today and uh, it's raining and we don't have our foul weather gear from the boat so we're just going to get soaked on the way. I have lots of layers on. I've got these, I've got jeans and I've got long johns on and we're going to pack a bag and we're going to spend the night in Seattle. It's supposed to be drier tomorrow. Well, 
we made it to our friend's house here and they live like in the center of the city so we're gonna go walk around and explore Seattle. Here's the cozy nut tavern. <laughs> This place. I don't want to spend some money. This hill in Seattle just keeps going up and up. We're like getting a workout. We almost feel like we're hiking up a mountain. This is so bizarre, this tree. What do you think this is, Tate? This looks like a normal tree, and there's lots of them here in Seattle, but upon closer inspection, it is actually an apple tree. Look at this. Look at this little bitty thing. It's a Granny Smith apple, right here. It's so strange. Paul, you called, you called Uber for us? Yes. It's a very Seattle thing to do. I know it's across the country, but Tate and I have not done Uber yet. It's cheaper in Baton Rouge, actually. Yeah. Um, everything's cheaper. <laughs> <laughs> so where are you bringing us, Paul? We're going to Cafe Mox. Uh-huh. So it's, uh, it's like they have a gaming kind of, like they have all these different board games, and it's a restaurant bar that's attached to Card Kingdom. Oh, that's cool. So, so you get to drink and play board games? Mm -hmm. And so behind at, at Card Kingdom, they've got like, I don't know, 100 different games behind the counter that you can just use at the, the bar. Hmm. I'll just borrow them. So they'll like even recommend things to you. Mm -hmm. So here's what grab well. It's a super simple game. So you guys are going to have, um, you're going to play as pilots who are stuck in a black hole. You're going to start in the center here and try to get to the edge. There are two derelict ships that are just kind of stuck in space up here. You're going to play one card uh, face down. Everyone's going to reveal at the same time. The first letter in the alphabet goes first. The second letter is at right ties. The number tells you how many spaces you move. The couple this game is way too complicated for us at this table. At least for us, you and I. Yeah. Too complicated. We're gonna go full tilt here. <laughs> deal all the damage. One of Tate's friends from high school actually lives in Seattle and she got in touch with us and so we're going to the beach to hang out with the bonfire. It sounds really cool. <laughs> Tate, you glad we didn't bring the RV into Seattle? Yeah. It wouldn't have been good. This is like a park or something? It's a beach park, yeah. With all these trees and stuff. Because, yes, that's not Seattle. There are like a freaking ton of sailboats. That's a West Sail. Tanada. I got all the Louisiana shirts representing here in uh, Seattle. I should have worn my LSU shirt. Yeah, where are you at? <laughs> uh, okay, if you're from Louisiana, raise your hand. Yeah, we win. Okay. Uh, Business model? 
They go, they go around. And <laughs> they, literally, the birdie up here. Girl, <laughs> what, what are those? Because there's yeah. chest. Okay, what's been your favorite uh, thing so far? Sand boss. I'm more like yeah, yeah the spirit, the, the spirit fishing. fishing. Yeah. Kate. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Do you find yourself thinking like? What would it take for me to be here for the rest of my life? <laughs> yes, no. I did. <laughs> <laughs> I did. There's too much other stuff to see. Well, I mean, when you're done. No, the world is too big and I'm too small, and no matter how much I do, I'll never see enough. We've enjoyed our time in Seattle, but we gotta get back. Yeah. We gotta get back to the RV. We're gonna miss our friends. Hi. Oh, we're gonna miss you guys so much. <laughs>